looking back at me. Drop the class, drop the class. Too established. That the magic, that the magic. It's all the magic. The deadline, the deadline. Drop the your hands. I'm Optic on the verge. We're it's over and over and over done. Optic Gaming, build that legacy brick by brick. Welcome to the first of many. <laughs> Maybe in the future, uh, the Valorant pre-show, the Optic Valorant pre-show. Super excited! I may be here as this is going live, or I may be in Istanbul, in Istanbul, in Istanbul Turkey. Oh shit! How long Are is that you flight? Dead ass. I'm dead ass. You're kid. dead ass. Right you're coming. Now. You say you're coming, right? Yeah, fuck. It's right? your team too, right? Istan like you guys are teammates. Istanbul. These are awesome. Yeah. I don't even know where that's at on the fucking map. I think I'm going to Istanbul. <laughs> it's in. Uh, it's, it's in good. Turkey. Anything over ten hours in the off season. Yeah. Hell no! Fuck no! <laughs> you only travel if it's if it's if it's a bunch of papers. T usually, but now I can't say that because I was in Hawaii. Congratulations! So, so now I can't say that anymore. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I was I watching. I've traveled once for leisure. I I gotta say the I I agree with the with the haters. I agree with those fifteen little. Mm. What what the Optic what Podcast is way better without me. I enjoy it so much more what when I'm fuck? not in it. <laughs> Where the fuck did that just come from? Because I was watching you guys' podcast and you asked him how, how his vacation was. Oh, so oh, I'm like, oh, I remember. I'm like, oh, I wasn't on the podcast. That's oh, why I enjoy dude, that, that podcast. I hated him so hard. He's been waiting to say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're in a, Val we're so in a Valorant pre-show. We just blurted that out. Yeah, we're in the Valorant pre-show. <laughs> what? I was just saying that it's so much By better way, without me. fuck y'all haters. <laughs> no, I was saying that I agree with them. I'll say that I agree with that. Anyway, uh, this this uh, episode of the pre-show is brought to you by Jack in the Box, uh, one of my favorite Whoa. sponsors ever. Because you know why? They oh, have look at that taquitos de frijolitos, the mini taco slap. Oh I man, ain't gonna lie. just went for it. Let's do I will say this: a two a.m. mini taco. I'm not they down. Hit they, for a few. I'm not a big fan do. of the uh, of the creamy avocado lime sauce. Personally, as a person. Personally, that's very honest not? of you. That's mm -hmm. very honest. I like of you. the hot sauce comes in it, bro. They're tacos These too. I like that sauce. I think it's good. These fries okay. are. Oh, yeah, that. but I go for the six pack. It's, it's not even a thing. I just <laughs> I, th I hit three. You hit and three. I get all of them. I, I eat them actually, all, and I look at myself in the mirror and I say, Jesus, man. What did you do? Anyway, super excited What's about happening? it. Um, obviously, this is a very, very important match. We've won an international already, so hoping to bring another mm -hmm. one. And this, uh, is the big, this is the big one. This is the big one. This is the big one. We're, what, what was that? Four world champions that were championships that we've competed in one year? Yeah. That Wait, is, this, is, uh, uh, this is like champs, this basically? Is, this, this, is is the, champs, this is their champs. This is their worlds. Yeah, this, this is their worlds. This is the big one. It's and it happens in Istanbul, Turkey. Can we get some Call of Duty events over there, <laughs> it's please? So, it's so funny that... Uh, it oh, was... we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Can we not? You're not trying to travel? We're good. I'm not trying to, to see the I'm world. I'm going to London. The world championships that we've competed in are... Uh, London's London. as far as you'll go? Yeah. Uh, or France? What were you saying? The world championships we've competed in are in Dallas, Texas, uh, LA, Seattle, and Istanbul. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, that's so crazy. wild. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. All over the place. Uh, so I have a I have a commitment. I either I either have to do the green carpet for Game Fuel on that day, or I will be out there if we can find a replacement for me. Hand me a nug, <laughs> you... or toss me a nug. Do something. Oh, oh, oh! Just throw his mouth here. Here, open up. Here, oh. Do you want me to choke now? No, <laughs> grab this one and throw it to me, and I'll catch it with my mouth. Look, what's going on? How is this happening? Oh, oh almost. Which almost. Uncoordinated almost. Match. Anyway, uh, super excited <laughs> to be here. This is the fourth time that we're appearing in a grand or in a well, hopefully grand finals. Hopefully, not, yeah, yeah. I already know. My turn. My turn. Oh, you want some of this? All right, here we go. Perfect arch. Damn. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. My apologies. All right. It's a perfect arch. Let's. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna reel it in before it gets a little bit too wild and out of control here. Uh, today, day one in Istanbul. Our boys have been out there for over two weeks, I believe. They went to Poland first. They went right? to Poland first. Boot camp Boot there. Boot camp there. Yakshimash. Tap some heads. Kotoyes fuitata. Threw some. Uh, Omen blinds? Was that an omen? Yeah, blind? it was an omen blind. Yeah, you've been playing a lot of it. You played 100 yeah, hours of it? Oh, I love it. Did I you? love that game. Yeah. No, I, yeah. No, I, I, yeah. I do, I do, I do. You're your that, it was actually a prowler, but it. Is that Fade? Yeah. I you was... haven't played since Fade came in. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Valorant's the best game out right now. It, it, it is. It is. Have, you, have you been playing it? No, I've been playing Tarkov, but he's been deep. In Wait, Tarkov, Tarkov I have really? Been deep. <laughs> uh, wait, let me see. How much? How much is your? If, let, let's. We'll, we'll, we'll move on to this. I watched him play it. He's I've been, been deep. deep. What do you mean? You he was streaming it? No, he was over here. And, and, I've, oh. and I've played more. Let's just say this: I almost have max traders. People who know who know. 
Damn. Damn. And it's my first wipe, so I've been deep. Like, oh. it takes hours of learning. But it's this is about, about Val. Yeah, this yeah, is about this Val is about and the Val. incredible <laughs> tournament. We've been in four, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, and, and this it, is the this is worlds. This is the big one. This is the big one. The this is the COD champs, the Halo worlds. This is the the Valorant one that people are gonna judge champions. you on. How did you do that season? Uh well, we won, right? That's what you want to say at the at the end of it. Uh, I mean, look, uh, th there's plenty of room on the on the mantle there for another trophy. So certainly, certainly happy about that. You know, make Hell some yeah. room. Funny. Uh, yeah, no, not plenty. No, there's plenty of room. There's a lot okay. of there's a there's a lot of decorations. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of it's a lot of hard work. Thanks, <laughs> a lot man. Of hardware. Thanks to you. Thanks to you boys and your skills and your thumbs. And man, I don't have obviously, a one. you know the rest of the boys that played all the other games. But uh, there are 16 total teams competing. Yeah, the uh, best format, Swiss format. Win two, you're in. Lose two, you're out. Ooh, I like that format. I like, I like that too. format. Cut no, throat. no bullshit. No, nah, no tiebreaker nah. map count bullshit. You win, you're in. And having played 100 hours, I know a lot about the game now, but I don't know a lot about the international teams. And because the community? Uh, they're nasty. Yeah, there's a lot of really good teams from a lot of really different Let me see areas. who's in this. Let, I know that uh, I, I did watch a little bit of 100, 100 Thieves' is, um, uh, LCQ run, which was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, they made it into... I did they're, they're down there in the, in the bottom right playing Fnatic. Uh, but we're Where? Open, I think we're opening it up with oh, uh, oh. with Boom Esports, and I believe Boom Esports was another LCQ team that that got through as well. Are so, they NA or? Um, I don't believe so. I think no, they're, no, they're not. APAC, I believe. APAC, I believe so. So we got uh, Optic, Boom, Zeta, and Loud. Obviously, Loud being like the the Loud's good, right? yeah, Loud's not only good but massive fan base. Rivals the they Green Wall, loud. I think. Really? Yeah, big. Big, Who? big, big. Uh, loud. Loud? loud? They, they, they're the Brazilian. Brazilians, right? Yeah. From the, Brazilian oh, fans always go hard. They yeah, go hard. shout out they to the Brazilians. I, I mean, I hope one day before I die, I get to make it out to, to Brazil. Brazil. 100%, yeah. Um, Paper Rex at the top, Edward Gaming, uh, Leviathan, and Team Liquid. Edward Gaming uh, being a, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I know the owner. This dude, Mario, super cool dude. I, I, I've met with him a bunch of times. Yeah. Edward Gaming, let me see. Let me get some information here, Matt. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. there's China. so many like orgs that are just team. like popping out of nowhere that I feel like I've like I've never heard of Edward Gaming. Well, I, I can tell you no, what, it'd be it'd be the same as they, they were a League of Legends team. Yeah, yeah it, it'd be the same yeah, as yeah, I guess because mm. I don't watch League. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, it'd be the same as as team. somebody in China saying is like, oh, Optic, oh, I think I've heard it. They must be right. getting big, but we've been <laughs> around. So the, these organizations have been around that long too, like and especially like, Edward Gaming. Inter international, like we very rarely played in like international. That's also true. Esports besides Counter Strike. Where's the Ascend team that won? last year because there's no ascent in this like what they might have them? they might have joined a new org i don't think them or the team that was in the final with them or even on this piece of paper anyway let's uh let's see here uh, group one the first match is paper rex versus edward gaming uh paper x is really good i haven't seen edward gaming play so i'm gonna pick uh paper x personally actually let's not do the yeah don't do, let's not do that yet as i mentioned at the beginning of this this uh, episode is brought to you by jack in the box uh super excited i like mm -hmm. it because they have mm -hmm. little mini bean tacos and some fries that are just godly, dude. Oh, y'all keep maxing. Mm. Yeah, why are the, why are the only one with access to that? Thank you. Yeah, try a taco, man. <clears throat> that, get that wet straw on me, man. <laughs> keep going. I'm sure. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it obviously starts the group stage. We're playing uh, Boom, and uh, we are in the what? Every, what most people are talking about again is uh, in the last uh, tournament we we uh, matched up against Loud in the group stages or in the. I Swiss. feel like we play Loud a yeah, lot. Yeah, we play. Mm -hmm. It played seems them like in the final. Play Loud all the time. Played them in groups of the last tournament. Yeah, gonna play them in groups more than likely again. Zeta is good though. Zeta division. Zeta yeah, division. Yeah. Are they? They're. Uh, no, I we got I think they're a Chinese Japanese team. Japanese. Japanese? I think so, yeah. But they're good. Yeah, we got a... This is uh, a grueler. Yeah, we got a pretty... In Val, everyone, like... Nutty group. Not everyone's good, but the international, like you said, the international competition is just so high from region to yeah. region that, like, it's the best of the best from each region. Yeah. It's not like COD where, like, you know, some regions are NA. just absolute meat. Yeah, and not that they <laughs> are, it's just that they haven't I had mean, a chance I'm to just practice to put against... It lightly. Yeah, but, but, but given the opportunity, those same people that are talented enough... Given an opportunity to compete or practice even against you know players of your caliber and teams of that caliber, that will only increase their their. Uh, oh, I agree. Yeah, look at look yeah, at that's London. A, that's a true point, but yeah, 
I also did kind of like that they have their own play style. Like yeah. when you like play a team that's from Europe, like in Halo or COD, they yeah. traditionally just have like a different play style, but it's always like interesting to see. Yeah. A little mm -hmm. faster, a little like more chaotic kind of. It's yeah. pretty cool. No, I'm psyched about it. I, I'm I'm also psyched about the uh, about the the skin, the champion skin bundle. Uh, I'm excited about it because one, it helps the teams, right? Uh, Fifty percent of all the proceeds from Champs Twenty Two skin collection go to the teams. The teams obviously then split them with the players. So anytime a player gets to benefit, obviously that's a uh, that's it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Just imagine the amount of people that are gonna tune in that have nothing to do with esports, but they're gonna tune in just to see which video game players just won forty eight million dollars. Exactly. Yeah, I think I'm gonna uh, be so salty. What? <laughs> Why are you gonna be salty? When esports gets to that level, uh, of when you can win ten million dollars for one tournament, and I was winning twenty five hundred for a frag cup. Yeah, I'm gonna be fucking salty. Uh, well, mm. you kind of you kind of went way back in your career. You also mm -hmm. played some that was pretty, pretty deep. You put, you played some banger tournaments. I'm playing two v two S and D tourneys for twenty five bucks. Yeah, for for for, and I'm and I'm and I'm claiming credits instead of the actual money, so I can play another one. Like, and these guys are playing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be salty. I mean, all right. I'll, There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, yeah, we, we, we walk so they can run. I'm gonna be salty. Right. I'm gonna be mad. Well, I uh, you almost have a million dollars earned. But I yeah, crawled. Like, you know what I'm saying? saying. You're multi. But well, well, time out. <laughs> In the Go. future, that could be one tournament. Sure. That yeah. could be one tournament, million dollars each. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, don't act like you haven't, you know. Let's make, yeah, I'm you know, just you're, saying. You're, 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 you're just saying. Just salty. Salty. Yeah, we'll salty, right? Yeah. It's not weird either. <laughs> just so you know, it's not it's weird not at all. Weird. I support it. It's not weird, right? It's not you're gonna be weird. salty too. I'm gonna be salty. No, it's not. I'm probably more salty than you. I'm just saying. It's great for the scene, but I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. I hear you, partner. I hear you. Anyway, so yeah, hopefully one day it will get to that place to where people can, you know, can enjoy. What we helped build, and we're gonna be proud of that too because we had a lot to do with it in the beginning. So, with that, proud, let's send it salty, <laughs> yeah, salty. Let's send it over to let's not forget that. Let's not, <laughs> and but also proud of the fact that we we're here in the beginning. All right, we're gonna send it over to Istanbul. Let's uh, have a round table with the players, and we'll go from there. Hey, everyone, we decided to get together before the event, talk a little bit about it, and our thoughts going into it. Uh, I don't know, I guess we just make sure that we do the best we can to innovate and then. Yeah, we just try stuff in scrims that other teams are probably a little bit afraid to try, even if we don't have that much time to try things. And then, yeah, if something works or it sticks, then we kind of understand when we play these scrims, if someone's like something's hard to stop or hard or unexpected, then we just kind of keep it. And it's hard for teams to keep up. Also, I don't think we're that afraid to take stuff from other teams that we see that we feel like are good so that we don't fall behind, if that is the case. It's a good point. Yeah, we're very good at uh, making sure that we steal everything from everyone and uh, that way we don't like have something that someone else didn't have or has or something. <clears throat> it makes it a lot easier for every player to learn and kind of stay ahead. Uh, I'll start with the lows. That in the grand final in Berlin. It's a big low. <laughs> I mean, it was a high there until we got to the final and that was a massive blow for us. So. That last week, champs we went all early. Oh, yeah, the COVID fiesta, the COVID boy. I was looking at me. Ah, uh, that was that was devastating because we had very high expectations for champs. We just we were the number two team at the time and just kind of came in and got grouped. Not just that we got grouped, how we got grouped by losing a 9 3 lead on Haven. It's pretty, pretty bad. The um, lowest low yeah. was losing the rise. No, oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> and that was the first game. That was, that was the first game back, then, right? Yeah, that was the first game back. That was rock Losing champs, the groups, coming back, and then losing your shanks and a match server. No, that, that was rock bottom. Yeah. And a best of three. That you definitely, can't go lower. Definitely woke us up. We started the year off very low. <laughs> um, and then, you know, had picked it up a little bit. Yeah. Highs this year, we made every tournament. One. One. First Come one. on. One. Second one, we got third. Not too bad. But not our best. Yeah, we made every tournament. Only team in NA to do it, so this year at least. Maintaining our spot as the number one NA team, I think uh, it's fair to say, for sure. Definitely a high. Cool. I don't think there is really one. We just happen to lose most I of mean, the time. I can see why. <laughs> I, I can see why people say that we're bad versus European teams or whatever. Obviously, the stats prove, <laughs> prove that. So I have no argument against it. But I don't think we go into matches being like, oh, it's a European team, whatever. Or we're not afraid when we're playing against them. I just think we've had a tough run versus these teams. Uh, a lot of those games have been very close, uh, maps at least. 
And uh, yeah, hopefully we're able to break that curse pretty soon. I don't even know if it's a curse. Like two of them were like Gambit and Sin who like won the tournament. I guess Gale was yeah. like a pretty bad match, but then FEX won it too. So all three EU teams that basically beat us, except yeah, like they, one, win. they just win. Just go and say EU is better than NA. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It is true. Yeah. It is true. Yeah, it's why we boot camp in Europe, right? True. So the boot camp was amazing. Probably the best we've ever had. Uh, we've only had two, I guess, as this team, but the, this is definitely the best one. We had a really good spot in Poland. Um, great hosts. We had a practice room literally um, seconds away from our hotel rooms, similar to how it is here. So it was nice to kind of get used to that format and that environment. Uh, had a good schedule going for every single player. Everyone's going to the gym, making sure their mental is good. Uh, everyone's awake for practice. I definitely think the game's going to get more, uh, well, yeah, definitely get more complex, but I think the fact that they're going to add more agents and add different maps and stuff like that, hopefully like bigger ones and, you know, just the amount of util that's going to be used. I definitely think the game's going to be a lot harder to play and get harder and harder as more agents are added onto it. I mean, to go back off that, yeah, like there's going to be so many new agents. Yeah. crazy new combos with like new abilities and stuff so i think it's only gonna get harder the one tricks will be <laughs> slowly dissipating probably become similar to like league of legends maybe where like there's gonna be picks and bans eventually probably i wonder though do you think they're gonna cap the agents yeah they're gonna cap there's it, so right? many ages that they, they would also, also maps they're gonna keep it at seven think, maps i don't right? think they'll cap probably they'll just rework probably picks bans and there'll so probably many. be certain agents that are better than others in the in the meta like yeah. agents that are worse and probably not going to be played but uh i assume yeah, yeah. they're going to do something like that and probably have like a map rotation where they like rotate yeah. in like maps like every season rotate them out yeah maybe personally for me what i'm most excited for is just playing on stage again obviously we want to get to the crowd stage so i think that's the goal that like most of us if not all of us have i kind of want to see if we can win an opening match oh that'll be cool that'd be, not that'd be i want to see what happens if we win an opening match yeah. Because if we lose the oh. tournament in groups, <laughs> then I'm not winning another it's a curse. match. Uh, but yeah, we have probably one of the better matchups for sure, I'd say. In terms of our group, I think I can safely say that we probably have the easier group compared to the other teams. So I'm hoping we can come out on top. But again, no team here. No, 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 don't, don't get me wrong. No team now. here is... No easy no team, yeah, there's no easy team or no easy match, but... I would definitely say that looking at the groups, I was very like, oh, okay, like I can, we can deal with this potentially compared to some of like the crazier groups. I like, agree. I think there was a group that has DRX, 100 Thieves, 100 Thieves, Xerja, Fnatic. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. Right? It's Fnatic. Fnatic. Xerja is an excess group. Yeah, I would say there's a couple, couple groups out there we'd like to avoid. So happy with this one. Boom, we haven't played yet, so can't really know unless we just watch them a little bit. We're gonna watch their vods, obviously, but uh, loud, um, finalists for the year that we won. I mean, so we, we know what to expect. It's our fourth time playing them. We kind of know what to expect. They know what to expect, so it's kind of just Zeta. whoever's more on point on that day. Oh yeah, in my opinion, Zeta. And, uh, Zeta. They had didn't make last tournament, so we couldn't really see how they played. But um, we're gonna see how they played in their regional games and. Um, yeah, I mean, they're always good, so... Who are you guys most excited to play? Surely Loud. Yeah. Uh, if no? Play, if we play Loud, then Loud. Yeah, if we play Loud, all, the Loud games are always good. Always yeah. are bangers, so... Loud. I would say Loud. Loud. Uh, I just... I mean, I also like playing new teams, so maybe Boom as well. Just we. I feel like we've played, played every team. We've played, we played probably the most matches yeah, on the lot of anybody. But, yeah. Personally, for me, I think it's really cool that EDG like gets to show what they have because I don't even think the game is released in China, so it's pretty cool that they're able to like actually show what they can do, and I think it's exciting for them, and they sh they're a pretty good team. We played them a couple times during practice, and uh, they seem like they're up to date with the game. So learned not, a few things from them too. Yeah, it definitely does. So well, it's cool seeing like their style. Not like it's not, like, it's not like they're behind or anything. Yeah, and, yeah, they should be giving us some good games. Yeah, I mean, I like I just like playing new teams. So the fact that there's a new team here that everyone's hyped up for, um, definitely would be fun to play against them and hopefully beat them because that would be a lot of fans. We'd be <laughs> upsetting, and so yeah, that'd be fun. I think the experience here was probably better than the other places. If I'd have to yeah. say, yeah, I would agree. No, it's this all, is definitely the best. It's the, the best. Iceland, it's been the best. Iceland and uh, by far Copenhagen. 
I guess Berlin was pretty good as well. I mean, this the place just started off looking insane. The yeah, airport it's, all uh, the way to getting it's here. It's pretty good here. The hotels are really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Food service 24 7, which oh, we're yeah. gamers. 24 so 7 room service. Full of the we're nerds. We're not leaving the hotel if we don't have to, and we're definitely not leaving. So, I haven't had any COVID cases yet. Yeah. Um, no, nothing crazy. <laughs> nothing crazy going it. on just yet. Don't jinx it. <laughs> um, and yeah, you know, everything seems on point. Everyone's uh, doing a great job from like Riot all the way to the staff, everybody on our team, everything. So, so far it's been a smooth run. Hopefully it stays that way. Definitely hurts us. Split was better. One of, one of our better maps. Yeah, it's a little sad. Split. Uh, yeah, definitely hurts us. The new maps takes a little bit of time for us to get into it. Especially we were playing um, Copenhagen for a while. So other teams have like the advantage, time advantage on us. Sure. On Pearl, because they had time to practice. The only advantage we do have is no one's seen our Pearl. So, I mean, that's like kind of a surprise for us as well, which is kind of nice to have since everyone's watched so many of our games. The only thing is, is, is like, it's the same with other teams though, as well. No, I know. I'm just saying they that's have cool. so much information on us on other maps. It's nice to have one that the we one can that, kind, yeah. Of, yeah. kind of keep in the back pocket. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd say definitely a little bit of an advantage for us in that sense. But yeah, it's still, it sucks that we lost split because we were... There was a time where we were bad on it, but we got really, really good on it, and then it got removed. So split was used to be a really good solid map for us. Yeah, we, it was good, but on the go. Fourteen comp changes later, I think <laughs> we, we finally figured it out, and then they got rid of it. So we sliced it. It's all good though. I like Pearl. I like the way it plays. I like the way the map is constructed, which I don't. I say that rarely. I agree. Um, B bomb site needs a pro. That's a problem. Yeah. B bomb site needs fixing, but. Overall, the map's nice. It's very spacious, and I like that for this game because utility again is so strong. So it's gonna be a fun play. We have had some special <laughs> dining occasions. Went to one restaurant so far. The is it Nasserat? Nasserat, like the Salt Bay restaurant, whatever. Nasserat, yeah. Nasserat. I think it's Nasserat. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So we our trip there was kind of shady. We didn't like, oh, like yeah. we were going through alleys and stuff, and we we're like, wait, where is this place? We couldn't really find it. We end up in front of some crazy ass gate. And then we finally found the place. It was super cool, fun experience. Um, not at all what we thought it would be, for <laughs> sure. Uh, definitely a cool experience. We ended up uh, flexing a little bit. Got a couple of gold stakes. Um, to be fair, and they are cheap here, though. Yeah, yeah. It's, so that's it's one thing cheap. you guys don't know about this place is how cheap it is here, or like how amazing things, Case, how good yeah. the food you can get. So, yeah, we we take that any day of the week. And we're like really into food and stuff like that on this team. We're very open to trying stuff and like kind of going to new restaurants. And so it's nice to have that kind of social, like a team that's as social as us, just so we can, you know, all experience things together. We want to do better this champ. Like yeah. last champ, yeah. we, got, we got shit on. Yeah, I, we got shit on last champ. I just want to do better this champ. Yeah. To be fair, though, it was because of like circumstances yeah, outside. Yeah, I agree. We 100% would have done that. Just better. like yeah. rectify this. A sneak peek of the stage. It's pretty. It looks pretty big. Oh, oh you got a sneak peek? I think we all did, no? When? I didn't see nothing. Uh, yeah, that sneak peek of the stage it looks pretty dope. So Should I do be... think it, it's gonna be pretty sick though to have like a crowd here, like especially like the Turkish crowd. I think yeah. they're gonna get wild. I heard the tickets and stuff are sold out. So really, yeah, they're sold out. Yeah, grand finals sold out in like five minutes, but I don't know if that's because like scalpers. But and I think uh, playoffs, there's gonna instantly there's gonna be maybe even crowd. before I heard. Yeah, so even bad group stage, like quarterfinals, like maybe like you know, win one or two matches. Yeah, who knows? Ooh. If that happens, we'll that'd be spicy. Yeah. I mean, we just Let's... yeah, we're hungry. Let's put it that way. Yes, Got I don't think we're gonna have like a small stage either. Like from what I saw, they're just building out the big straight right away. Yeah, so we're just gonna use that from the beginning. So it might be cross. Nice. That's nice. Not we'll to switch set up middle of the tournament. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, last year's champs, we had COVID. We couldn't play on stage at all. We were in a hotel room all of our games. <laughs> Uh, we were locked inside the hotel the whole time, never given out. <laughs> never went out that was so It was a very depressing experience, to say the least. Really the opposite of so, what, what's happening. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. At least with this champs, the hotel's way nicer, food's way nicer, COVID's a little bit less of a concern. Obviously, it's still somewhat of a concern uh, concerning the teams. Uh, bigger prize pool, actual crowd this time, uh, different location. You know, just there's a whole bunch of different factors, but yeah, plus. Plus all just how much Valor has just changed, you know, with all the new maps, new agents, and so on and so forth. We're definitely having a better year as well. Sure. Like we are definitely having our best year, so too many eyes on us. Yeah. But yeah. still. <laughs> it's still having a good year. Um, I think teams have kind of 
we've kind of shown ourselves and what we're capable of now to ourselves and to other teams. So yeah, yeah, no one's gonna really take us lightly. I think we just have high expectations, and I think we kind of thrive under that pressure. So it'll be fun. Yes, sir. Um, probably some of the teams we lost the last time. Probably Paper X, FPX, and maybe some of the other EMEA teams. They their styles and at least their individual skill is pretty on par with us. So whenever we go and play them, um, it tends to be pretty close games. If not, like they're sometimes they just outshoot us. So mm -hmm. we're hoping to rectify that coming this event, but we'll see. I can be edgy. I can say everyone. Yeah, I think this tournament has the most yeah. competition. Everyone is insane. There's the yeah. most. This is the most competitive tournament. Of the year, probably, or in all of Valorant so far. All of Valorant, yeah. Yeah, every team hard. is good. This is hard, man. If you make it's one mistake, here. wrap it up. Yeah. Anyways, we appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. It means the world to us, and we hope you will continue to support us as we go into this year's champions. We're hoping to give a better performance than we did last year. But all in all, again, thank you guys so much. It just means the world to us. It really does. Welcome back. I cannot tell you how excited I am for those boys, man. I mean, obviously, like, they, they in, have everything that it takes. They're locked in. They're locked in. Chet's obviously been whooping them into place. Uh, that's my man's right there. Been a long-time optic boy for a long, long time. Um, he's going to bring back another one. He's going to bring back another one, man. Hey, God, Chet, the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in his contract that he has to live over here so that I can see him on a daily in basis. The, in the hex quarters. No, he can't live here. <laughs> He's going to, no, he'll rage. He'll start throwing shit. I don't know. Anyway, uh, you know, excited to see what's up. You guys want to go into some uh, predictions and some closing comments? Let's let the public get to the match. Yeah. I want to see it. I want to go like watch I, it. Like I said, I don't know much about uh, the, the, the the teams in Group C, Group A, Group D, but uh, we can talk about our group. We're I play, do not uh, want to make predictions. I don't either. <clears throat> All right, well, let's just go over the, the teams that are this in our group. This is their chance. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to sit here and, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, this is their chance. No, let's no just... bad uh, juju. Yeah, we don't uh, want well, any of that. Yeah. I want to speak it into existence. I want... You don't speak it into existence. They speak Listen, it into existence. Well, you know what? I'm going to do what Jack in the Box says. I'm going to put a lid on it. I'm going to put <laughs> a lid on it. If you speak it into existence, it's bad juju. If they speak it into existence, they start to fucking believe that there shit. There you go. There you go. If they're in a huddle saying it, it's different yeah. than if we're in a podcast. It's, yeah. Like, One, two, three. Because you're, you're just putting more pressure on them. Inadvertently, I'm gonna tell you something. I don't think those boys understand. Like they, they do some more pressure that I could not do. Correct. So I'm just gonna leave it to them, like you guys said. Correct. Because you guys handle pressure the way that I wouldn't know how to. In a, in a what? Oh yeah, yeah, I do. It's right there. <laughs> pressure creates You're diamonds. Do you want to see what pressure created for me? You want to see my trophy? Never What's mind. That will leave it for another. What trophy? For the day. My three v three trophy when I won a championship. You have a chip? Yeah, it's right there, back here. He has a fucking chip. Where? Is it that plaque? Yeah. That's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> pull, pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out. The plaque. Oh, this yeah, thing? Yeah, the plaque. What the hey, hey, hey. All right. I'm going to tell you something. Before really you bring it out. He gets really defensive. No, you can grab it and pull it out. But don't make fun of it. <laughs> Don't make fun of it. Okay, then I'm just not going to play that. Because <laughs> I'm going to make fun of it. That is enough of, of, of that. Yeah. That is enough. I, I've, I've had enough. He's the formal said, don't say fun of it. Don't say fun of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're going to make predictions. We are going to go over the brackets, though. Group A, as uh, we were mentioning, is Paper Rex versus Edward Gaming. Um, I feel like we shouldn't even go over all We can the... make predictions for our other teams, just not yeah, us. Just not us. I so... just don't know anything about the other yeah, teams. I don't, I don't watch enough of these teams. I do. Though. I, 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 I know I know most of these teams. All right, so who do you think is making it out of Group A? The two teams. Uh, paper, yeah, that's paper. Paper X and uh, Leviathan. Yeah, okay. I would say. I would say. Yeah, that's what I would say too. I, I, I would okay. hope. It, I, I would hope it's Team Liquid. Obviously, you know. Shout out my man Steve uh, Aaron said. Leviathan's um, the. Um, are they are they Spanish or? From España. Are they Spanish? I don't know. Matt's uh, taking a sweet time. Chile. 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 Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. So Chile. They, they actually, they Dude, were pretty this, good in last This tournament. is wild, man. I love like Valorant. And, so do and, like, I. And, and Counter-Strike, yeah. man. They have like a glo like an actual global presence. like setting yeah. and presence. Yeah. yeah. Argentina. I, I mean, mean, Chile look, is in the, in our the Our group the is us from NA. Yeah. Boom is from Indonesia. Yep. Zeta is from Japan. And Loud is from Brazil. That's just That's one insane. group. That's insane. That's crazy. And they're all good. And they're all insane. They're all good. That's why Valorant's just like yeah. I love I love esports that are actually international. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I, it'll get there. Like once COD, you, you can say it's international, obviously, because we have a lot of like uh, European APEC, players, yeah, Australian yeah. players. But like, they're definitely the minority in the CDL. Yeah. But like in Val, I think NA is probably the minority. Yeah, right? yeah. I, I mean, against everything else, I yeah. mean, yeah. it has to be. 
which is which is crazy. Same Besides with like League of Legends. I feel like. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I, I love I love that. So who do you think is who do you think is making out of Group C? I gotta cheer for X set because uh, yeah, X set. I think X set's a lock. Um, and then either FPX or Crew. I'm gonna go with Crew. Okay. Hey, crew's good, I think. Aren't they? Yeah, yeah, crew, yeah, crew, yeah. FPX crew, and Crew are both crew's good. good. X set. Uh, yeah, they they make it through. Uh, All right, who's making out of Group D? Group D. Wait, does Fury, does hundred yeah. these make the crazy run? All the way through the LCQ and make it out of groups. Uh, I don't know. They do have the, they have their new roster, right? Everyone was really hyped about their new roster, but I mean, they've been changing a lot, right? They played really, yeah. But they played really well through the LCQ. They smoked, uh, they smoked the people in the last. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I haven't really watched <clears throat> too much recently, so I can't really say anything on that. Uh, I'm just going off of names that I've heard. So I'm well, I, and I've heard of Fnatic and I've heard of DRX, but the ones that stand out to me on uh, Group D, I'm gonna say Furia and a hundred Thieves. Ooh. But I'm only saying 100 Thieves because of Nate Chat. No offense to everybody else. All right. It's just my friend. It's fair enough. And you want to see your friend succeed. It's all good. And then Group B, who's getting out? Unless the prize pool goes up. I say us and loud. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Unless that prize pool goes up in five years. Uh, I think. be pissed. <laughs> it, bro, it's inevitable. It comes it's, back it around. It's inevitable. And I'm inevitably going to be pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for the day. Uh, man. So, I, again, I think uh, I think it's going to be us and loud. Yeah. I am excited. I'm, I'm excited Didn't to watch we say some. We uh, yeah, make... they, don't, they don't understand. This guy fucking they don't understand it. Uh, just just, no. He just keeps nailing it. Yeah, I think us and loud. Yeah, yeah like that's whoa, gonna be the clip. I didn't make. I, whoa, whoa, I slip, said to get out of groups. He tried to slip that under. The, he tried to slip that in there. I said to get out of groups. Yeah, I mean, I've seen, seen it happen before. He tried to slip that in there. You did try to sleep. You know what? Sorry. Before we get anybody else in trouble, we're just gonna say a huge thanks to Jack in the Box for sponsoring this podcast or or this pre-show. I want to shout out the entire. The entire green wall watching here with us, waiting patiently for me to say, hit the link on the first line of the description. Go to that channel right now. Tell them who sent you. Let them know that the green wall has arrived and we're here to stay, baby, baby. We'll see you guys on the other side.